This video is going to introduce suction filtration, which is something that you might use after crystallization. If you have a situation where you have a solid with a liquid and you want to recover the solid, that's why you might use this technique. So let's first set up our filtration flask. We can connect that to a ring stand and then use some thick rubber tubing to connect the sidearm to the house vacuum. We're gonna to need to use a funnel along with the filter flask and they come in different sizes. This one's called a Buchner funnel. It's used for large scales. Um, for the small scale filtration, we wanna use a Hirsch funnel, which is very small. We'll connect that with a little rubber adapter and then after the rubber adapter, then you put in the Hirsch funnel. And so those will, will create a nice uh, seal. The funnel does have holes in it. And so if we poured liquid, that would just stream in. And so we need to first put a filter paper to block the holes. So add this tiny little filter paper over top of the holes. And now it's ready. To start filtering, you'd want to first turn on the vacuum and then you might want to um, push down on the funnel to make sure that it's a good, a good fit. Then you take some of your solvent and you first add some of that to the funnel and wet the filter paper. That liquid is going to drain out, but the point is that it holds the filter paper very securely onto the funnel. And now we're ready to start filtering. So I take my, uh, my solid liquid slurry and I just noticed that the bottom is quite wet so I don't want to pour any of that in. So I'm going to just dry it off first but now I pour in the solid, the solid liquid slurry and the liquid is being pulled through with the vacuum and it's filtering. So often there's going to be a lot of residual solid and you can use some of your cold solvent to um, help transfer that fully to the to the funnel. You don't want to go crazy with the solvent but you don't want to lose a lot of solid either so if you see a lot of solid I would do that you know a couple times to try to transfer as much as possible. In this case, they, that solid was chunky, so it took several, several rinses to get it out. And small amounts of solid still on the flask are normal. So here's our crystallized solid. And um, so it filtered quite well. But what I want to do next is a rinse. And so to rinse it, first turn off the vacuum and open the system so that you're no longer applying a vacuum and then take some of your rinse cooled rinse solvent and add add some uh, liquid to rinse so this will try to remove um, the mother liquor from the solid if you did a crystallization and then connect the tubing back which I had a hard time doing with one hand um, connect the tubing again, turn on the vacuum, and again use suction. If it's not uh, draining very well, then you just need to push down on the funnel to make sure that it's a nice, uh, nice fit. And then let it pull a suction and uh, filter the solid for a minute or two. When your filtration looks done, you can then turn off the vacuum, take off the hose to reintroduce the atmospheric uh, pressure into the system. If you wiggle it off, it'll eventually pop off. And then you wanna take your solid and dispense it onto a pre-weighed watch glass. You can use a spatula to uh, you know, transfer the solid onto the watch glass. And it's, it's a good idea to even transfer the filter paper as well. Take the whole thing onto the watch glass. You're gonna set this aside 
and often you let it dry overnight and then the next day it normally um, it's quite uh, dry on the filter paper and so it's a lot easier to scrape off the solid when it's completely dry and that's the way that you use suction filtration to get a solid from a liquid